Hey traders, welcome back. This is my weekend review for the week ending in September 20th, 2024. It's the weekend now, it's Sunday the 22nd. And let's go to my spreadsheet and dive into this and see what happened last week. Um, I forget where I left off, but I had this NVIDIA put here. I rolled this out, it cost me, uh, I collected $75. It cost me 261 to buy that back, but because I, uh, the price action of NVIDIA uh, had dropped quite a bit. I was threatening my threatening to go into the money. I didn't want that to happen. So I rolled this down to 99 and out a week and I uh, was able to collect 308. So it made up for this 261. Uh, ended up um, buying the close for $15 for this. Next, I had this AI trade, which I had bought to close. I'd collected $34 on this. Strike price was well below my cost, but I decided to uh, make a trade, collect some premium. And again, the price started to go up, so I did a buy to close on this. It cost me $50, so I didn't lose $16 on this one. But I didn't want to go. Uh, the strike price is 23 and AI, I've got <laughs> a cost of 3170 I certainly didn't want this to um, go in the money and uh, be down, you know, over a thousand dollars here so I bought to close that and just took the took that off the table um, so then I started this Nvidia call and a strike press of 129 I collected 64 dollars in premium there ended up buying to close that for four dollars so I ended up with sixty dollars there and then I did a Nvidia put expiring 920 uh, a strike price of 107 and collected $53 there. Uh, the price action was starting to go against me, so I kind of panicked and I bought this back for 47. So I made $6, so no skin off my back there. Um, decided to just play it safe. But then they ended up you know, getting back into it. I got another put here on Nvidia uh, at a strike price of 110, expiring 927, and collected 154 for that. So this is an open trade, and the next open trade is a call I've got on NVIDIA. I collected $33 for that, and you can see that reflected in my account here. I've got a call at 130, and I put it at 110, and the price of NVIDIA is right around 116, so it's just hovering around the middle there. Hopefully these will both close out, and I'll just collect the premium and keep going. So not a lot of trades going on right now. I don't really have a lot to trade with. I've Got uh, zero dollars cash. I'm actually using a little bit of margin to trade, and if this um, put goes through, I'm, I'll, I'll have the margin for that. So I'm um, playing with a little margin, but I think it's pretty safe. I don't think Nvidia is going to go below 110, so I'm just collecting premium there. If it does, I, I'll, I will have the margin, and it's still pretty safe. I don't think I'll get a margin call or anything like that. So total so far this month is 1173 and 97 cents. This AMZ, a uh, big part of that is AMZ and NVDY, these yield max funds. Kind of not liking the yield max funds too much these days. I think I'm going to get out of them as soon as I can um, get uh, to break even. So this AMZY, pick this up at an average, average cost of 22 and the price right now is 1976 The price has gone up a bit. So I'm down 1576 right now just based on the NAV erosion. I was hoping the NAV would come up a little bit more, but I've been collecting uh, premium since uh, I think, let's see, June. This is June, I collected 200 plus July, I collected 358.89 plus August, I collected 324. Dot five nine plus so far for September four five nine six eight. So that's thirteen forty three. And so if I'm down, if I sold these today, taking this loss, but take into consideration the premium I've collected, so minus fifteen seventy-six. It's about two thirty-two that I'd be down. So I'm waiting for the next um, I'm going to wait for the next distribution and that'll probably put me over and then I'll probably just sell my shares and, and get out of these. It was a kind of fun experiment, but 
really, uh, with the nav erosion and everything, it hasn't worked out too well. I haven't really made any money. I'm just trying to get back to break even. And Yield Max has made some changes. They're going to go to weekly distributions, and it sucks because uh, AMZY is in Group D. You can see here they've changed it to Group D, and Group D doesn't uh, pay out until uh, 1023. And I usually get, you know, these used to always pay out in like the fifth or sixth of the month at the beginning of the month. So I got to wait almost the whole another month to get the payout for for this, but. Good thing is, is that um, Amazon stock itself has uh, started to go up over the past month, so there'll be some probably some good covered call income coming out of this. I don't know. I might hold on to it, keep making income if the nav if the nav stays within about this range and starts to go up. But the overall market has been down recently, so I think that's why you know AMZ why because of the follows the Amazon stock has, has gone down. There's also uh, NVDY I have with, with the yield max, and that paid out, you know, pretty good last month. But uh, uh, my average cost right now is 28.19, and it's trading at 2300. So I'm, I'm way down on this one too, and I haven't traded this one as long. I think I started last month, so I collected uh, 262.75 there. This month I collected two nine 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 seven. Till five sixty two. I'm gonna wait and collect some more dividends on that. The thing is with these, I mean, there's the fees for holding these and um you gotta pay that, and then there's the tax that you gotta pay that. So it's not really been worth it, these yield max. I'm looking at maybe some round hill funds and some other kind of um, ETFs that are high yield, but they track um, and they have ownership in the underlying stock. These yield max have a synthetic stock, so they, what they're paying out is paying out of the NAV, and that tends to erode over time, so it ends up not being so good. So once I can break even on these, I'll, I'll get out of them and uh, look at maybe some other high yield, not put so much into them, experiment with them, and if it looks okay, then I might uh, look into that. I've got a couple shares of like XDTE. Pick these up for 5135, and so that's actually gone higher. The the NAV is higher, and so I've made a little bit of money there. Plus the dividends I've made. These are weekly payouts, and only got a couple shares. I'm just experimenting with these guys. XDTE, QDTE, average cost of 41.45, and it's trading around 42.20. So that's good. I'm also looking at SPY T and QQQT, average cost of 1941. We've got two shares, and it's trading at 1993, so no nav erosion yet there. And then QQQT, average cost of 1880, and it's up to 1900. So we'll see how this goes. I'm ahead on these. So yeah, not too much going on this week. Again, my monthly income so far is 1173. And that puts me over my goal of a thousand. And I'm um, still waiting on. Uh, I had a buyer for my condo. I'm hoping to get like two hundred and seventy-five thousand out of that, maybe or two fifty, and I'll be able to scale up my trading and do a lot more uh, contracts instead of one contract at a time. I could do you know ten contracts of Nvidia, or I might look into some uh, leaps options and do some trading that way with uh, some higher end stocks like Spy or something. So. I'm actually going to make a video on Leap's option on SPY and how I can possibly make a full-time income with uh, uh, trading just SPY and Leap's option with uh, 200000 So look for that video coming out. And that's it for now, and we'll see you on the next one. If you uh, like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.